seasons change and the work changes. It's just been. It's getting very, very severe winters there. Oh, it's terrible. I've never seen anything like that. I never will again, I don't think. place was buried. Absolutely. The road, you couldn't get near it. You couldn't do anything. Well, you had to do it. You just had to shovel your way into everywhere. And it carried on freezing day and night for six weeks. The water was froze up. Fortunately, the water from the spring coming to the underground catchment was all right. But anywhere else, I mean, it was froze solid everywhere. milk had to be got, but it, it was a terrible time to get anything anywhere. Instead of being finished the milk round by 11 o'clock, you'd be lucky if you'd got it to the village and delivered and got back home by 4 o'clock. All made a lot of, a terrific lot of work. Again, to cancel the game at the Spilby Street today. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it must be bad. It is. Well, it's thrown the whole season out. It's been fixed and everything. That heavy snow we had, you know. Remember the heavy snow? Yeah, 47, yeah. I've seen the snow as high as the edges. You couldn't get along the path. All you had to do was not panic. You had plenty of food in, you were all right. We had a very severe blizzard. He came on a Sunday night and it filled the roads up, knocked all the telegraph poles down because there wasn't the traffic on the roads there today. There wasn't no snow flows and etc. But they filled the cutting up to switch it. It was level and it, the line was closed for a fortnight because they hadn't got the equipment to do it. But uh, they wouldn't, that wouldn't happen today. My sister-in-law spoke for me at the LNER and got me the job on the railways at Porto. It was worse in the winter because if you had an open wagon, you'd have to take the tarpauling off and it probably covered in ice and filled with ice. It was so cold, you'd fold them over and then start unloading the wagon from the top, you know, the sacks on the top. Whereas if we had a covered wagon, we'd slide the doors back and there'd be um, a big heavy block of wood where we could put the barrow into the open wagon chain four bags together and then they'd be pulled up on a jigger 
then wheeled away by the porters upstairs and stabbed. What was that winter? 47, I think. Yes, that was a terrible winter. It, we dropped off the engine, we were going up to a place, dropped off the engine, we were up to the waist in it, in the doings. Somebody had left the drain off, one of the drains on the side of the sess. And uh, this fella got off the engine to look what was going off and he dropped down the drain up to his waist in it. So that wasn't very, very good. It's getting very, very severe winters there. But it's terrific when it gets across the hill from, you know, from the north, you get the snow. I mean, 1947 was, ter it was terrible. 56 winter. Mm. It was in the kitchen, and if some water dropped on the floor, it turned ice. All the toilets frozen up. I used, when I come in from work, and I go in the kitchen and I get something to eat, I'm back in my bed and I'm sleeping all my clothes, <laughs> my boots, my shoes, <laughs> my coat, everything. The place was cold. Oh, I cried. In the winter time, it, it, it was, uh, I might say, it was murder because you got an old uh, paraffin lamp uh, which was always going out and you'd get stopped by a policeman and say, hey Sonny, your lamp's out. I said, well, it's, it's been on and he'd put his hand on the lamp and say, well, it's quite cold. <laughs> you know. Any more fast? We used to have a Christmas tree up at, uh, at Swith and Knoll and the tea. And we used to have to go in the kitchen, the servants' quarters on a big table, and the tea would be set out there. Then we used to have to pray through the hall and they'd have a conjurer. And uh, uh, a Christmas tree standing up, and you'd get a little present. That was just what we had at Christmas. That was only one. We'd make paper chains. Um, gluing, fastening them together with a paste made with flour and water 
and uh, we spent many enjoyable evenings making, making the chains. Well, at Christmas, I mean, uh, all the shops used to dress up and the butchers used to put a pig's head in the window with an orange in its mouth. Everywhere was dressed up. The shops were beautiful. All the shops in Granby Street, it was like a little fairyland. And the town hall square, that's always been decked up. a very bad winter. I went to work at six o'clock on Thursday morning and I didn't leave the shop until Monday. Sleep on the bench or under the bench, you know, it made us all comfortable with old blankets and horse blankets and that. I got sixpence an hour extra overtime. <laughs> I was a rich man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 